So Matthew in the UK, uh, what's different uh, to the Irish system here? We, we probably have a 90% uh, spring, spring calving system. Um, and for your trip here today, we're, we're looking at some April, May and June calvers. What, what's the relevance of a calver like that for the UK market and why, why are they in demand? Summer milk production is favoured in the UK. The seasonality payments are plus figures from July onwards. So therefore the April, May calving cows and beneficial for that um, that milk contract. What kind of a contract is that? Is that a, is it a liquid milk or is it more cheese related, or um, is there any particular example? It's um, it's manufacturing milk, um, so that so, so particularly the Arla contract, and also some of the Muller contracts. They are on uh, positive seasonality in the summer. So, so the, the likes of an Arla contract, they need a flush of milk in that summer period for, for particular products that they have demand for, is that right? Yes, that's right. And also with that, they, they do like the solids as well to go with that. Um, that's that's why the Irish cow is suiting the um, summer contracts over in the UK. Okay, and that summer, w would the cow be calving outside typically or will it calve indoors and go to grass or typically um, happen? So a bit of both really. So, you know, the cow will mainly probably be calved inside and then she'll go straight out to grass and um, again then she'll come in and be wintered and she'll have a bit more grass then the next spring before being dried off. Okay so we've mentioned so April, May, June calvers are, are relevant to those systems but if the, if the farmer calved in January, February he's going to be penalised in that April, May period in effect. Correct. The opposite to the positive that's, that, that's right, yeah. that's right. And, that, and that's probably why there has been an increase in autumn block herds in the UK. It's, it's been recognised that the block carving is an efficient way of using staff, buildings and resources. And people are moving away from all year round carving to block carving. Um, and particularly uh, when I say autumn carving, the, I'm probably referring to August, September, October and not late autumn. So a lot of these cows that are uh, April, May carving over here will fit into systems that will then do an extended lactation for one year and bring them back into an autumn block for the next year. Okay, okay. It's a more economical way of getting maybe an autumn calver for some people. It is, yes. So the, the great value cows, they're going to get the milk for the summer and she's producing and then she'll fall back into their block the following year and she'll fall at the front of their block the following year. Okay. And the, their cows that are producing manufacturing milk as opposed to maybe a liquid milk contract, it is, it is a more manufacturing, be it cheese? It is. So, so um, it, it will be manufacturing, um, you know, they are high solid, so it will be a manufacturing contract to go to, yes. Yes. Yep. So Bertie, we've got the demand for um, summer calving cows. What, why is there availability in Ireland of those cows? I suppose traditionally with the spring calving system, people like to calve their cows you know, in a short period. Um, the system is built to calve, say, late January, right up to late March, early April. And I suppose there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a number of cows in any, any spring calving system that will calve in that April, may, maybe the early May period, where there's deemed supl surplus to requirements. Um, so ideally, the, a lot of farmers will try and clean up their herd and their calving pattern by moving on those, um, say, April, May calvers. So, so. so that's just end of block cows. There's no other reason to sell them, is it's just, just purely the cutting off the end of their block. Exactly. Look, and they'll still be perfectly fine cows. Um, but I suppose, you know, when a farmer is going to dry off his cows, maybe in that late November or December period, those cows are still going to be milking fairly well. So, yep. you know, I suppose he wants to be able to dry off all his cows in that period to get a break because they have such a busy spring. Um, but it's purely for that reason. They'll look. There'll be some cows maybe will have issues, but in the main, they'll still be perfectly fine cows that have a lot of uh, potential for that UK market. Yeah. So the bottom end of the herd is still going to be called as normal. Then the surplus. There's no fault. There's no fault, and they're not high salt cow cows or. No, and that's our job, I suppose, as a as a livestock sourcing business to, you know, to go through the herd and minimise those issues that potentially could happen. Yeah. And and give the, the farmer there in the UK that reassurance that he's buying yep. quality cows. Okay. okay.